Buffalo, New York, Texas, an elementary school there, uh, a Fourth of July parade in Illinois. Uh, you know what I'm talking about here. We're talking about the series of mass shootings we've seen. They continue, it seems, in this country, and it profoundly affects the communities in which they occur. And last week, Congressional Subcommittee a hearing addressed not only the devastating loss of life from these events, but the long-term economic impact these communities often suffer. I want to bring in now somebody who testified at the hearing, Buffalo, New York Mayor Byron Brown. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for being here. And, uh, and, and I know there's some, some, some numbers we can get into, statistics and whatnot, but I, I just want to start, you speak from the heart for a second. Just how's your community doing? You know, it has been very painful for our community. Uh, people are in trauma. We are healing, wrapping our arms around each other and doing everything that we can uh, to get through this most painful time in our community. Uh, Mr. Mayor, can you tell me, I, I, I saw that you spent almost half a million dollars that you didn't expect to spend uh, in the immediate weeks after the shooting. That just has to do with uh, uh, vital services uh, that were needed over time for many of uh, your folks in the community, your police officers, your fire department. Uh, are you getting what you need? I know the federal government often promises and wants to be there to help, but are you getting those types of resources and financial resources that you need in your community right now? We're having those conversations. We haven't gotten any financial resources from the federal government at this point. I've sent the message that I be believe strongly that communities that experience mass shootings, uh, there should be federal financial support. Uh, in this case, an act of domestic terrorism fueled by racism and white supremacy, uh, the impact has been very uh, devastating to this community. Uh, financially, uh, May 14th, when the shooting occurred, and in the two weeks thereafter, the city uh, spent over half a million dollars, police, uh, fire, sanitation, other municipal services, and that price tag has continued uh, to grow uh, ever since. And so the economic impact is a significant one, not only on the municipality, on budgeted costs, uh, but on the families, on the survivors, on the surrounding community, and on businesses in the community around the top supermarket. Hey, Mr. Mayor, have you gotten a commitment that that money is coming? Uh, the federal government has been very responsive. Uh, President Biden has been here in Buffalo. Uh, Vice President Harris has been here. Uh, the Attorney General Merrick Garland has been uh, to Buffalo. We've had several meetings in, in Washington, and it is uh, my hope uh, that the federal government will step up, will see the pressing need in this community, uh, and financially will support uh, the needs of residents, uh, families of victims, survivors of the shooting, and the city itself. Uh, we talked about um, that, uh, that uh, the Tops grocery store, the supermarket, was such a vital a part of the community. It was one of the few areas, a few grocery stores uh, that serve so many people in that area. And the subcommittee did hear testimony about property values going down and business activity going down in cities and areas where there have been mass shootings. How, how has that community begun to recover in that aspect? Is it, is it back to being a place that is uh, bustling? I know the, the supermarket has reopened. The supermarket reopened July 15th. Uh, every day since the supermarket has reopened, uh, the parking lot has been full. A uh, strong message that hate will not win, uh, that the love in the community will conquer hate. Uh, people are showing that they want the supermarket to be open, that they need uh, the supermarket and that they're willing to come back to the supermarket. Obviously, some people uncomfortable to come back uh, to that location because of the horrible tragedy, 10 people killed, uh, three wounded. Uh, we've partnered with a company called Instacart uh, to expand uh, at-home delivery uh, from the supermarket and to expand um, grocery pickup at the supermarket. So we are doing everything that we can 
to not let those alarming statistics of the horrible impacts of mass shootings take hold in the Buffalo community. As I said, people are rallying around each other. There have been food distributions, uh, concerts, uh, marches, rallies, everything that we can think of uh, to keep the community together and send a message to the nation and to the world uh, that evil will not win, that hate will not win, uh, and that white supremacy uh, will not win. Well, Mr. Mayor, we are absolutely rooting for you uh, in that community after what you all went through. But, uh, but thank you so much for spending some time with us and giving us an update, all right? And please, as always, uh, tell Dr. Grant in your office there that TJ says hello, okay? I will, TJ. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.